Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to <clears throat> make a list up of uh, pictures, just like we did last class, how to get them, save them. Uh, for a lot of you, this will be nothing new. And then I'm going to show you how to link it to a website. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> go ahead and open up Chrome or Mozilla or whatever you have. I'm going to go ahead and open up Chrome. And I'm going to type in, let's start out with Giants. Even though they're going to have a terrible year this year, let's go ahead and start out. Okay, right click, say save image as. Okay, it's a JPEG, so that's good. And we're just going to call this Giants logo. And then go ahead and make sure you save it to your H drive. I'm going to just for now save it to my desktop. The next thing we want to do is let's go get, uh, I don't know, Eagles. Eagles logo. And now what we want to do is go ahead here, right click. Save image as. You'll notice it says SVG, which isn't good. So what we have to do is we have to use a different one. Right click, save oops. right click, save image as. JPEG, that's good. Just call it Eagles. And uh, that's all we're gonna do. Close this window. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to new folder. And I'm gonna call this folder web page. Okay? And I'm going to drag these two items, just highlight them, and I'm going to drag them right into the web page. And I'm going to double click in here. Okay? And right click, go to New. Uh, we want to do Text Document. And I'm going to call this, doesn't matter. Double click. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and link the images. So we're going to put in HTML. And then your. Header tag, title, and you could call it images with links. Images with links. Slash the title. Go ahead and there. Let's go ahead and open up the body. And the body, what we want to do is we want to go, mm, let's create a, an ordered list. We'll put a uh, team logos and put a break. And then we'll put OL, oh well, stands for ordered list. And then we'll do LI. And then we'll put Giants logo. OIMG SRC equals. Giants logo dot JPG. This, this right here, should match whatever this name is. And then we'll go with equals one seventy five. Height equals seventy five. Dash li. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. Right click, copy, hit enter. You don't need to do this with the formatting and then right click paste. And now we're going to put Eagles logo. Eagles logo. And I'm going to change this to Eagles. Has to match that exactly. Okay. And then close off your order list, close off your body, and close off the HTML. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and go to File, Save As, All Files, and call it logo.html. And we'll notice. Let's try that again. Go to here, open, and there you go. So it's perfect. Okay, so that you already know. The next thing we want to do is I want to show you how to link. So let's go back to our page, and we're going to do this. We're going to put a href 
equals HTTP www. Actually, let's find out what the Eagles homepage is. Eagles homepage. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Go back to Notepad and just right click and copy. And I'm going to go A H A H ref equals quote and then control V. And close that off. And close that off. So this right here, that creates the link. I actually don't want to close that yet. Okay? And what I'm going to do over here is, I forgot to put a closing in. On all these images, I forgot to put a closing. So I'm going to make sure I do that. And I'm going to put slash A. And that'll close off the link. And I'm going to do the same here. So what what's happening here is this. This image is working just like before but it's in between here and here. So that means it's in between a link. And what, um, I actually put this in the wrong spot. This should be, I could right click cut, right click paste, and then here, right click cut, right click paste. So let's see how this works. Go to file, you could just hit Control S on your keyboard to save. And then go ahead and open it up. And that takes me to the Eagles page. And that's it. If I go to View Page Source, right here, if you want, you could pause the video and uh, type this in a Dreamweaver. I mean, uh, Notepad. So there you go. That's simple enough. And we're going to find out the Giants homepage, so let's go ahead and do that. There you go. Appropriately named Giants.com. Copy. We're going to go to here. We're going to put in the same thing. A H ref equals control V to paste. Okay, and let's just go ahead and close that off. Okay, control S to save the page, and let's see how it worked. Okay, here's my Giants, and there you go. And the Eagles, there you go. Let's say I want to do one more list. What I could do is I could go back to my page, go to here and say something like, I don't know, foods. And then I would put OL, and then LI, I don't know, fruit, and then I would, you know, do that whole thing again, and then veggies. Okay, and let's see what this looks like. Control S, minimize that. So you'll notice that's another list. And there you go. That's all there is to it. So these are the ones with links. And let's say I wanted to link to a page about apples. Okay, I copy that, and I'm going to go ahead and make a link here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a href equals and then control V to paste what I just cut or right click paste. Let's actually make this apples. And don't forget to close that off. Then you go dash A and there you go. Now this apples text will be a link to this page just like this image 
is a link to that page. So let's see how this worked. File save. Minimize this. Let's go back. See? Apples. It's underlined. And it takes me there. And the last one we'll do. Veggie's web page. Welcome to Veggie Web. Copy this. Okay, go to your page. And we're going to put a href equals I actually said control V actually. Put quote. And there you go. Veggies. And let's go ahead and control S. Minimize this. And there you go. So you have veggies, apples, eagles, giants. And you're done. Um, now, you, now I want you to go ahead and complete the assignment. It's important though, make a folder with all this stuff in it. We'll, we'll get to all that later. You could take this and just delete it. Okay, that's it.